Hi guys. Okay, this is a knee video. And there's my knees. And I'm going to try to turn the camera around for a minute here. So, today, no, yesterday was week three. 21 days after my second knee surgery. And I wanted to fill you in a little bit. I think after today I'm going to be able to just walk with a cane. Although... I probably should stick with a walker most a lot of the day <laughs> because it still kind of hurts but um, it's getting better um, just wanted to go over a couple things with you so far I do not have um, insurance yet for PT so I'm trying to do it on my own and I'm thinking that I might just be fine on my own but I want to show you a couple things that I'm doing and um, since I don't know how to do a video within a video and do a voiceover, that kind of thing, I'm just trying to turn my little phone around. Um, but I wanted to show you a couple things. So on my um, knee, knee flex, flexion, I'm going to try to show you what I do. And I usually use one arm, but I'm going to try to show you with both arms. And then I'll show you what I'm doing for my extension. And I'm just doing it on my own. Um, I went to our local PT office, the one I used for my left knee, and asked them if they would just take measurements for me. Um, just to see where I'm at after three weeks of not having physical therapy other than what I'm doing myself. Um, and I kind of hope to prove that Although it's really, really nice to have physical therapy. If you really want to walk again, you will do it on your own. And I think you can do it on your own. Um, so anyway, let me show you a couple things. The um, Okay, so with my knee extensions, I am what I'm doing is taking a leash, my dog's leash, and I'm relaxing my quads. And I'm lifting my leg up like this and letting it drop so that the leg is just um, resting only, only on the leash. And it's forcing my knee to go down. So um, when I went to get my measurements, they were kind enough to do it for me without an appointment or without charging me, without... Um, any professional PT so far at three weeks she, yesterday she measured me at um, 105 for extension so I still have a ways to go with that um, but that's what I've been doing and then for uh, flexion what my doctor told me to do because I have again the cementless kind um, press fit it's called for uh, the flexion, you, you can't force it like they do. Sometimes they tell you to sit in a chair and cross your un-surgery knee or foot on top of your surgery leg and push back. They say not to do that with a press fit. So what my orthopedic doctor told me to do is I lift my leg up. I'm going to try to show you this. And I put my arm around it, and I let it drop. Probably not the best picture. And it's, um, if I use both arms, I start out with both arms, which I can't do right now because I got one phone in my hand. But um, I just let it drop, and I let it hang there naturally as, as much as I can take it. And I let my arm... If it, if it really starts to be painful, you're not supposed to do that. So I lift my arm up. But I'll start with both arms under this, under this leg. And eventually, what it'll get to is what I did with this leg. It just, uh, once you can relax it, you can steadily move your hand out of the way, your arm out of the way, and just let it drop. And so, like this, with this knee, I have um, about a hundred. I've gotten a hundred, 
up to 135. I think maybe it's 130. But that's that's how I did this knee. Um, and I can, you know, I can do that now. Although I'm hearing crunching in there. I don't know why. It doesn't hurt, but this this leg is pretty good. So um, this one, you start off with your, you know, with your elbow under there and just let it drop and the weight of it. And I'm doing this in bed, as if you can't see that. Well, I'm just letting it drop. And um, yesterday, yeah, I was at um, 105 flexion. And for my extension, I was uh, 5 yesterday. So I'm, I'm getting there. And I, I don't even know if I'm going to go through the hassle if they do approve me. Um, I'm trying to go to the same place that I went to for this leg. I'm trying to go to for this leg, and they denied me. So, um, but if I can't go, I'm I'm going to do it on my own, and I'm going to prove that you don't need it. Although, if I could go, I would. But just to let you know, if you don't have insurance or your insurance doesn't cooperate, you can do it on your own. Plus, they'll give you a day of... Um, PT in the hospital. So between what you learn in a day or two in the hospital, you can do it on your own if you have to. Anyway, that's my scar. Um, and that's my scar there. So I, I think I'm coming along. Anyway, I'm not going to go back to work for another three weeks or so because I want to make sure I can drive. But, yeah, I sleep with a leash if I have to. When I was first first out of the hospital, I, you know, you could drag it over the edge of the bed. But, anyway, I'm going to try to put this back on me. I have no idea if I'm in the picture or not. Um, but, so, uh, yeah, just wanted to let you know that Life does go on without physical therapy if you absolutely have to, although I don't recommend it. Um, but you got to do what you got to do if you want to have range of motion back. And to be honest, with the first leg, I went for three months, and, and I think that I, you know, I know I picked up a lot of stuff and I got the other leg working, so I think I can get this other leg the newest leg work into, even if they, my insurance doesn't approve it. So, um, yep, that's uh, three weeks yesterday, and I'll give you another update as I progress. I do still ice it. Once a day I have an ice machine, so I do still ice it, and I am still taking my Oxy 10 milligram with 325 milligram Tylenol, I believe, acetaminophen in it as well. And some days I need to take three, and other days I need to take two. But um, we'll see how it goes. Happy to have them both done, and I would, again, recommend, if you're thinking about it, don't put it off. If you got to do it, you got to do it. Suck it up, put your big girl panties on or your big boy pants on and get her done. All right, until next time, see you later.